Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about files and where you should hold your file in relationship to the tooth. Because if you're using the wrong file, you can get too much hook or you can get too much backslope. So we can illustrate that by showing a few pictures. And the first picture we'll show up here is too much uh, backslope. And backslope is not a very good thing. You're not going to cut very well uh, if you've got too much backslope. And it's generally caused because you're filing too uh, high above the tooth or you're using a file that's way, way too big and then you find out you end up with this backslope. Then you can end up with the opposite where you've got too much hook. And we can put a slide up and this will show a uh, hook. And this hook is excessive. So this is sitting on a steel bar. And uh, you can see that the tooth, someone's been using a small file on that. And that, that's going to damage as soon as you start using that. It's, it's, have a look at the front of the tooth. It, it's going to bend and it's going to go blunt in two seconds. It's, it's just not going to work. So that's interesting. And if we go back... Over 30 years ago, and I'll send up another slide picture there, that's still in this little handbook that I had recommend that you only have 10%, one-tenth of the diameter of the file. Problem is that most people would probably tend to get more hook problems when you've only got one-tenth or 10% uh, of the file higher than the tooth. So I'm pretty sure that that was the issue. That's why I still change things uh, as we go forward in the years compared to previous years, that they may tell you to do something, but people don't do it correctly. So they have to revise the way that they do things or change the specification. So I'm pretty sure that that was the reason that they changed it from one-tenth or a fifth to 20 percent and if we have a look at this other slide here this is from oregon and oregon are recommending still today uh, that you use one fifth or 20 percent of the diameter of the file that sits above the tooth so most manufacturers generally recommend that now lately in the last few years still have also changed it again that they recommend a quarter or 25% of the diameter of the file sits above the tooth when filing. So we've got a slide here that shows that. And what I'm seeing with a lot of the new chains that are coming out of still the full chisel is it doesn't have that C shape in there. Now, we always hear about having the C shape, which is a nice type C and about a 60 degree uh, uh, top plate cutting angle that the file leaves right at the top of the tooth. So ending up with 60 degree around this area here. So that's the reason uh, I, I'm sure that they're doing that. One thing that you'll sort of see that if you do a bit of a Google search and you get on the Stools website and there's PDFs that you can download about sharpening and all that, and that's where I got that picture. They don't go into any explanation as to why they've changed it. It's just that, hey, we recommend this now. That's it. So you've got to read between the lines of what's going on. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is in the chainsaw business. Uh, there's just not enough information out there to really know what's going on. And you have to be Eddie the expert and try and figure it all out. So... The top plate cutting angle, which is what the file leaves at this point here, will definitely be changed from when they used to have 10% of the file above the top of the tooth, 20% above the file of the top of the tooth. I mean, that's a big change from 10% to 20%. Now we're 25%. And what I'm seeing with a lot of the new uh, full chisels out there is that they've got little tiny points on them. And we can put a picture up 
of a uh, picture of a uh, chain and you'll see that the C shape is slowly disappearing, especially up the top. Certainly by the time that we get halfway down the side plate and down the bottom of the gullet, we retain that C shape. But as we're right up at the top of the point of the tooth, we end up with these little points, and some of them can be very aggressive, even at a 45-degree angle. So, you know, having the 60-degree top plate cutting angle uh, from a file that leaves that, uh, a lot of the tooth that are coming out, and Husqvarna's X-cut, and we can put an example of that up there, has that little point at about 40 degrees. So that is a really sharp point and that's what I'm seeing on a lot of the full chisel so when you use your hand file uh, it's going to leave that nice little C shape and provided that you don't file deep into the gullet you're going to have anywhere between 60 65 degrees right on the point of that tooth now for those that are not too familiar with what size file to use, uh, we can rattle off some numbers there in imperial and in metric. And if we're to look at the smallest chain that you would have would be quarter inch pico. That is very small chain with a very small tooth. So the height of the tooth has been reduced and the size on the quarter inch pico and you use a 3.2 millimeter file which is uh, uh, one eighth that's one eighth so the next thing is standard quarter inch and that's going to use a 532 which is a four millimeter file and on 3.8 lay profile we use exactly the same file where we use 532 four millimeters the next chain is going to be 3 16 4.8 millimetres for a 0.325. And for standard 3.8, we're going to use, uh, standard 3.8 is going to use 13 64 5.2 millimetres. And for 404, we'll use 732, 5.5 millimetres. So they are the standard files for the different types of uh, chain. So make sure that you use the right file and you'll avoid uh, having back slope. But I probably see more back slope on smaller chain rather than bigger chain. People using, say, 3.8 low profile and using a large file and, and, and file in the corner away and end up with back slope. But I probably see more uh, hook problems rather than anything else. So... If you've got hook problems, generally speaking, you're pushing the file down too deep into the, the uh, gullet. And if you do have slight hook problems, I'll put a picture up here, uh, that's showing using a file with 10 degrees downward tilt. Now that picture there also is out of the still handbook, uh, uh, 30... Uh, three years ago and still recommended the 10 degrees downward tilt but no longer recommend it because I think what's going on out of that same manual as I mentioned before they were recommending only 10% of the file sits above the tooth and when you're sitting the file 10% above the tooth that is more of a recipe of getting too much hook and that's why I think that they jumped to the 20%. So if we're keeping our file approximately 25% or one-fifth above the tooth, you're not going to have any hook problems. And if you've got no hook problems, you really don't need 10 degrees downward tilt either. And this is why I think that still no longer recommend it. They've virtually figured out a way of manufacturing their, their uh, chain and their recommendation using uh, the files haven't changed, but the height that you hold the file has, has changed. And therefore, if you hold it at the current height, 
which is 25%, you won't get hook. Okay, so the end conclusion is pretty, pretty straightforward. Follow the guidelines of the manufacturer these days, and it's either 20%, holding the file 20% of the diameter above the top of the tooth, or 25%. So I'm favouring the 25% because I've noticed on a lot of teeth that we're slowly shying away from the C-shape. And good evidence of that is in Husqvarna's X-cut, but also in Stills' Hexa, which is a hexagonal uh, type shape. With this hexagonal type shape, especially the little point, it's given a lot of support for underneath the tooth. And that's what it's all about, because if you've got too much hook, there is no support. And that's why I think that we've changed over the last 30 years, gone from 10%, 20%, now 25% above the top of the tooth to eliminate any hook-type problems. I hope that information helps. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.